Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough on insane difficulty. It is time for some more optional missions, Act 2, Chapter 6. And of course, we're going to start with a legendary armor mission. This mission is interesting because we can't use any grenades and so on. And the optional objective is to deploy without a heavy. Well, whilst I appreciate that optional objective, and I can understand that, of course, you would instead then go with maybe two snipers or whatnot, I really want to level our standard team. And the scout so far is too reliant on um, grenades to actually be useful in this mission. So we're just taking our prime team to indeed go in there. And hopefully this time Gabe can uh, level to level five. Mikala also needs some more uh, leveling. There is a noticeable slowdown in the levels now. Scouts have located a pair of untapped supply caches in the AO. Lock down those sites and make sure the grubs don't wreck the party. Good. Let's level up. I need units at both sites. Lock them down. Nice. We got an another protection mission here. Ooh, that is good. Okay, so Let's see how they like this. Can't use grenades or proximity mines. Can we? Plant them at least? No. Also can't plant a grenade. Good, we got one epic case over there. We got another rare case uh, there and an epic case back there. Cool. That'll be Jake's main task. It might be that they are coming from this side. So what I'm asking myself is where to position our sniper. High ground would be grand if we could find some. Fortunately, this balcony again is not really accessible. There's no great high ground, but there is quite a bit of um, uh, so this one uh, here seems to be relatively easy to hold could see a heavy essentially deploying and just holding that almost by themselves what <laughs> jack moves on reporting in Keep in mind, we're not going to start anything before the timer, yep. uh, before we haven't collected our crates. The timer is not starting until then. So in terms of sniper position, you know, there is no real great position here, but I can, I could see a line of argumentation to essentially position the sniper over here. and then bring them in whenever someone is coming from that side and elsewise they could shoot into that direction the other option uh -huh. is to dedicate it to this side and make Support sure that we hand. have good backup fire awaiting orders Gabe can take uh, this middle position that I was talking about and eventually move from A to B. But what are we dealing with? That's a grenadier. Yeah, having a sniper when we need to deal with this guy will be incredibly helpful. He's like one of those types of enemies that you just don't want to mess around with. 
But he's medium ranged, so we should be fine. Jack will get that other. What's next? That other pack there. They won't get past Good. me. Just in case someone is coming from there. What's up? You know, maybe I've misread that and maybe putting the sniper further to the front line. I'm mobile. Almost like here. If they are always coming from that other uh, side of the map. Wouldn't be the worst of ideas. Clustering up certainly is not a good idea. But just in case someone Keep lands. Ideas? I'm ready. Advancing. Moving into full cover. Scanning now. And sniper overwatch is certainly not the best way of spending your time, but it has a long range and it's Cluster it's fine. Move. Let's wait for the ticks. Sniper, take Time some extra actions, game. please. Uh huh. Let's kill and reload. Damn it, I'm out. Who's next? I don't think that we need that yet. Okay, we need more crit, but that is doable thanks to Sniper's aura. Thanks, Jack. Gonna need some ammo. I got nothing. All right, I think we Reloading still need that extra AP. There's the crit I was hoping for. Gun so and dry. Knock down that last rub. Who's next? Good, we got yeah, not enough to continue Support shooting. On hand. Heavy on standby. Alright, just Bring in case on. this I'm guy ready. comes any closer, we're going to be well prepared. Yep, moving. <clears throat> Our actual tank is going to tank it. We're covered over here. Right. Time and let's reload. just reload. Jack continues getting those cases. <clears throat> oh, and he's trying to be a smart defense. Make it count. I see move from right. cover to cover. Time to stretch my legs. Now then. On the lookout. Damn it. 
Damn it! Miss! Trying to piss me off. Oh well, okay. Well, that was bad. On many levels. I'm listening. But at least. Shot wide. They're in my sights. Uh huh. Okay, that's not a good idea. 70% hit chance. No. Thank you. Okay. Low on ammo. Shit, yeah. Okay, more loot. Kicking up dirt. And we're going to recover that health eventually. What? <clears throat> got a, a sore throat. I read you. And no, it's not COVID. Talking for too long. Watch. Got enemy activity. Well, I think it's fair to say that the mission is now officially started. Standby. On route. Good. We got the boom shot. And we're going to hold this position up here. Need to load up. We could move up, but I think it's actually better to fall back a tiny bit. Yep, and use the covered. Overwatch here. Thanks for the assist, Jack. Good, Jack. Should really move out of uh, any explosion range and then hide. Support on hand, standing by. Good, that will suffice. Whatever is going to come, we'll need to pass our overwatch. Headed out. So we're trying to interrupt them. Scanning now. Good. So far, so good. Heads up! Locust activity! I'm still not sure about the ticks. I've not Stay seen uh, them explode near our characters yet. So, they might be harmless or they might be incredibly Limited. dangerous. I don't know. Current 60 points of damage, but that would almost kill Jack because Jack <laughs> is, contrary to what I was saying, still in the explosion zone.
Gotta get Jake out of there. And Later, hide him Jack. for now. We still got one more case up there. Fantastic, that Tell worked well. Friends, asshole. Hey. Good, let's start. That's a solid hit. Gonna need some ammo. That's a reload. And we regain our ability points. Gotcha. That's another hit. Yeah, we don't need the ultimate shot yet. Guns go and try. Yeah, yeah. Moving up. Oh boy, the boom shot is nasty. Look at that. Ammo's going dry. Drop them. <laughs> oh boy. Ready. On it. Okay, now. Good. I think we're doing reasonably well. On the move. Just need that last trait, right? Are you serious? You're standing in the open like an idiot. Acknowledged. Can we theoretically move in here? Yes, we can. Okay, cool. Then that's a no-brainer. Heading out. I think I'll leave the other one alive because that means the spawn is delayed for one more round. Begins to move in. Ready. Roger that. Eyes peeled. Good. We're overwatching. back reloading here that's a reload and I don't think that anything will happen here so might as well overwatch in that direction I 
Overwatch. Okay, well, not the Good. best Overwatch, but it certainly will get the job done. Four actions, which means we're reloading and we'll have three Overwatch shots. We're covered here. Enough to hopefully blow that um, tick out of the water. Got enemy activity. Wrong move, Grub. It so turned out that they are continuing to spawn. They're still pretty far away. I'm here. Hmm. Could stand over here. first of all take a look what we're dealing with so far it's just one berserker stay out of trouble jack i can't believe i'm saying it's just one berserker because those guys are nasty Left down. i remember the first time that we met one kind of in mission two And I was like, how Ready. how do you deal with a thousand five hundred hit points? <sighs> and nowadays it's just everyday business. Fantastic. I got this area. What's next? Still got that side here well secured. Been doing this a long time. I see it. <laughs> terminated. Okay, they terminated themselves. Should not uncover what? Oh boy. Alright, Jack will need help here. I'm ready. Got your back, soldier. Okay, we're going to take one shot, and that's almost all it took. Okay. Gotcha. Try. 
trying to find the right position. Hmm. Not sure. Moving out. I think they can't just move towards us. That's a hit. And that's a kill. I'm here. Can Jack hunker down? No, he cannot. But we can force them to take us. On the lookout. I'm on it. Can't fully kill him. That's the most likely kill. Solid kill. There is a fifty percent chance that we will kill him and get all of our abilities back. Ready. Didn't work. Didn't work as they intended, but we, yeah, I could have used lock and load. Doesn't matter now. Proceeding on foot. <sighs> Scanning now. Time to reload. All right, reloading. And we're good. Is this going to be game over already? Because we've collected all of the loot? I think 10 is what we need, right? Yeah, mission complete. Good, we've, we did not get uh, the optional objective, but we got all of the ca uh, cases instead. Which is in itself also helpful and one blue uh, case for all I'm concerned <clears throat> is as good as an optional blue reward. Of course, we could have, uh, if we could have done it without a heavy, it would have been even better. But I wanted the experience on the heavy. Yeah, really not enough experience. That's meager. But maybe it is because he's killing so little. I don't know. Maybe we need to kill more. Hair trigger and champion. Okay. Sounds interesting. Champion in particular sounds interesting. Untraceable. 
75% reduction against overwatch shots. I can tell you who uh, this is going to go to. Our tank. And we got champion. Executes an enemy. Each ally is healed for 15%. That is incredibly good. That is incredibly good. What does the scout have? Yeah, an equally good equipment. Yeah, we might Yeah, we might need to do the equipment right after the mission for now. Uh, most of our guys are still traveling. And the second mission for next time deploy one or more scouts, burning overload, one have big weapon mod. Or recover an abandoned cargo shipment before the lost bombardment destroys it. I think this one here is better because we're going to get more loot. Uh, the bombardments tend to have uh, an awful lot of loot. However, this is only two units and here we would get more units with experience. I'm okay. Uh, with taking only two units because every single one of the units that I care about in terms of experience has already gotten it. But that here is potentially going to yield more loot and an equal reward. So I'm not sure if my uh, logic is sound yet. I don't know the, the mission types well enough. But this here sounds like a great mission in my book. Cool. This brings us to the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoy the content, leave a comment and a like down below. And see you in the next run of Gears Tactics.